this how-to video, we will be going through the steps of designing a group conferencing room solution using Vadio's Easy USB Tools. With Vadio's Easy USB Tools, you have the ability to get the Pro AV quality computer peripherals you need to transform your personal computer into an effective, affordable meeting room system. The first step in designing a PC-based group conferencing room is to collect the customer's general requirements. It is critical for the designer to understand the intended use for the conference room along with the PC Soft client applications deployed. Key questions for the customers are, what type of conferencing will be conducted in the room? Will a dedicated PC be installed in the conference room? Or will the room be a bring your own device installation? What PC Soft clients could be used within the room? How does the end user control or want to control the PC based room solution? Does the PC based conferencing solution need to connect with any existing AV equipment? The collected customer requirements will be used to select the appropriate easy USB tools when designing the conference room. The second step in the design process is to determine the conference room layout. Specifically, what is the size of the room? What is the maximum number of participants in the room and where could they be seated? How are the tables and chairs arranged within the room? Where will the room's video display be located? Does the room have an existing AV equipment enclosure? The third step in designing a room is selecting the appropriate easy USB devices based upon the customer requirements and the room layout. Starting with the camera selection, what will you use for the video? The HD USB PTZ camera has a USB connection emulating a standard web camera to the PC with HD video quality and full PTZ controls required for group conferencing environments. Now that you have the camera, what type of audio will you need? This is where the EasyTalk USB audio products come in. There are five products that make up the EasyTalk USB product line. The Easy USB Mixer Amp, the Easy Mic Mic Pod, the Easy Mic Ceiling Mic Pod, the Bose DS16 ceiling speakers, and the EasyTalk soundbar. Now that you have audio and video, how do you control it? Using the Webby. This room control system was selected to provide a browser-based room user interface with PTZ camera controls, camera presets, and full room audio controls including mute and volume. In order to obtain optimal audio and video conferencing performance within a room, a few key guidelines should be followed. For audio, the designer needs to place the easy mic in a location on the table or in the ceiling that covers all the potential participants in the room. The closer the microphone is to the person speaking, the better the sound quality produced. A minimum of four foot separation should be maintained between any loudspeaker and the easy mic devices. This reduces the speaker to microphone coupling that produces the echo on an audio conference and allows improvement to the overall performance of the easy mic's acoustical echo canceller. The easy mic mic pod has an optimal pickup range of approximately 12 feet. However, this may vary based on room acoustics. More reverberant reflective rooms will impact audio quality as the distance between the person speaking and the microphone increases. This is typically characterized as hollow or tunnel sounding speech. Using simple acoustical treatments such as carpeting, window shades, acoustical wall panels, or other physical absorbing materials reduces audio reflections on surfaces such as walls, floors, and ceilings. In video conferencing applications, the loudspeaker should be placed near the LCD display. For video, locate the camera or cameras while paying close attention to viewing angles, lighting conditions, and sight obstructions. Avoid placing cameras near fluorescent lights or open windows. Make sure the camera view does not include any light fixtures in the shot. For video conferencing, an eye-to-eye -eye aspect is desirable between the local and far end participants. Excessive tilt angles should be avoided as this will produce an eye-to-top-of-the-head video aspect. A desirable shot is typically achieved by mounting the camera directly above or below the room's LCD display. Know your field of view and optical zoom range of the PTZ camera. Wide end horizontal viewing angles of 58 to 70 degrees as needed in video conferencing group meeting rooms to make sure all participants can be framed in the shot. Tele end horizontal viewing angles of 2 to 3 degrees may be required in some large training rooms for framing the instructor in the shot. Use multiple PTZ cameras to cover large spaces. Don't try to cover large areas with a single PTZ camera, as this can produce very busy camera movements that can distract far-end participants as the camera pans and tilts constantly to local participants. 
For corporate training rooms, always use a minimum of two PTZ cameras. One will be dedicated to the instructor and one will be dedicated to the audience and students. Employing these simple guidelines in your room designs will allow all participants within the conference an exceptional user experience that is free of echoes, choppy audio, and tunnel speech. Once the basic system design is complete, the next step is to determine the best placement for all AV equipment within the room. We have chosen five typical room types to demonstrate how these easy USB products can fit in. The huddle room could be described as a non-scheduling meeting space for up to three to four people collaborating with remote participants using a PC running a soft client. The easy USB tools needed in this room design include one USB camera, one easy USB mixer amp, one mic pod, and one sound bar. The multimedia room typically is a group meeting space with 10 to 15 participants and multiple video input sources using PC-based collaboration software. The easy USB tools needed for this room design include three HD20 cameras, one auto presenter, one AV bridge, one easy USB mixer amp, two mic pods, one sound bar, one Webby, and three USB 2.0 extension kits. The team room would be a room for about 10 to 20 people that require capability to share information with both local and remote participants. The easy USB tools needed for this style of room include one USB camera with IR remote, one easy USB mixer amp, two easy mic ceiling pods, and four Bose ceiling speakers. The corporate training environment would have 10 to 15 students with an instructor using a PC-based lecture capture software and automating with camera tracking and multiple sources. The easy USB tools needed for this application include two HD20 cameras, one AutoTrack 2.0, one auto presenter, one easy USB mixer amp, one wireless audio interface, two easy mic ceiling pods, four Bose ceiling speakers, one Webby, and two USB extension kits. The retrofit room is described as an existing boardroom with custom AV integration using traditional video conferencing endpoints. An example of this room could include Extron Video Mixer, one Sony EVI HD1, an HD18 document camera, a Biamp Mixer, two Audio Technica mics, and Crestron Control. PC enabled the boardroom without compromising audio and video quality using soft client based conferencing endpoints simultaneously. The easy USB tools needed in this design are one AV bridge. The final step in the design is to install the equipment and test with the UC Soft Client. The Easy USB tools were designed for plug and play functionality with minimal configuration and simple wiring. You now have the ability to design and understand what is needed for a successful installation of a PC based group conferencing solution with Easy USB tools. If you need help in your design, visit www.vadio.com or vadioeasyusb.com to find out more about the Easy USB tools and other Vadio products or contact our sales department. <laughs>